So if you flip with me to principle three, so if you remember principle one was do I want to grow? And we said everybody wants to grow, right? I mean, you see it's so evident, and I'm so proud and just so happy to see, you know, Angela and Amanda. And then can't you tell that this has made a difference in their life? And I'm not taking credit. Somebody gave it to me, you know, Peter. You know, he said, hey, this made a difference in me. You try it. I pass it along now. They're passing it along. You know, so we're not taking credit. But as you, as you can tell, growth makes a real difference, okay? All right. Now, just one quick, you know, the temperaments and whatnot, this is just an introduction, okay? If, if this is resounding with you, what I ask you to do is, is you need to become a practitioner of it, okay? And this, is, and this comes with study, with growth, with reading, with, you know, now every patient that comes in my room, you know, it clicks. For example, I see a sanguine child. I give them a hug. I see a choleric adult. I do not touch them, okay? <laughs> All right? I mean, it's a fact. You see what I'm saying? I mean, uh, somebody comes in with a list. That's a melancholy. You have to give them a little more detail. You see what I'm saying? But I'm observing all the time. I'm adding, I'm adding, I'm building. I have to become a practitioner. You know that word, practitioner, okay? So this is just an introduction. I, I'm not expecting this to be life-changing for you, okay? But hopefully we demonstrated that this is, this is powerful, and hopefully you can take it and run with it. Don't you guys agree with that? I mean, this takes a while for us to become, right? Okay. Uh, sounds good. So, so, so principle one is, do I want to grow? We said yes. Pr principle number two, exposure to new things, new things, okay? Now, the third one, all right, principle three, if I don't, the word collect, if I don't collect the great ideas, you will lose them, okay? And if you skip down to the uh, quote down there, it says, ideas are like soap bubbles. They can pop and float away so easily, then they're gone forever. Can you guys relate to that? Sometimes you have a great idea, you forget it, it's gone forever. Okay, that is the truth. If anything we said today made, it, made a resounding statement to you, hopefully you recorded it, because I'm going to tell you now how I collect things. You've got to collect them so you can use them later, okay? Hopefully you can either mark it or say, okay, oh, I like this one, all right? So now we're going to talk about collecting, because if we don't collect them, it's just we just wasted our time, okay? All right. And so... <clears throat> Let's uh, go here. It says, uh, I'm always on the hunt for ideas to collect. And I mentioned that to you. I collect ideas every day. Every single day I'm collecting stuff. I mean, every day, all the time, all the time. All right? Okay. What should you collect? This is what I collect. Principles, quotes, ideas, poems, excerpts, movie lines, like I shared with you, stories, powerful illustrations, uh, to have the potential to. Not anything. This is not entertainment. This is for, you know, growth and whatnot. So number A, I collect principle to grow edify or inspire me or others, okay? If I think a quote, I can share it with somebody, I'm going to write it, okay? B, grow others. If, if there's something I hear that, you know, I say, I'm already mastered that, but I know my sister has not mastered that, I'm going to hold on to it. I'm going to collect that, okay? even though I'm not going to use it. I'm going to use it with her, okay? So number B. C is I collect them if they're be used in a leadership training. I'm passionate about leadership and influencing people, so I collect them for those. And D, if they, uh, uh, if they will be used in writing, blogging, or teaching. Uh, somebody mentioned earlier, it's like, what's the next step after here? What is Aspire doing? We are going to start the blog. If, if, if our values and vision resonated with you, we're just starting on this journey. I ask you to check out our blog, and we're going we're gonna to get on that journey uh, with you. So I just wanted to kind of uh, put in that plug. But, you know, to me, writing is important because this is, how, you know, we ha this is how I feel I can help people a little bit. Okay? So this is what I collect. Okay? I don't collect just anything that has to fit those criteria. All right? So what principles should I collect? All right? What qualities? Simple and teachable. If there's something too complicated, if there's something I don't, okay, the word here is simple and teachable. If I cannot pass it along to someone else, it just sits with me and I'm not going to use it. So simple and teachable. So the principle has to be, you know, not simple, uh, superficial. I'm saying simple, powerful, but just easily understandable, okay? <clears throat> Number two, applicable and practical. If we don't apply things, guys, theory, you know, just too many people just know a lot of things. They don't apply it. We, so I want it applicable and practical. And number three is memorable. Now, uh, memorable, and here's the thing. I'm going to read this for you. 
This is a plus, quote unquote, short and sweet principles that are rhythmic, I like them, okay? Have words that rhyme or, or just to play on words are a favorite. Now, they don't all have to rhyme, but a lot of the principles, uh, for example, you take principle. the Bible is full of principles, right? Full of principles, okay? It says, seek and you shall find. Seek and you shall find. Five words. It's somewhat rhythmic, seek and you shall find, okay? It's deep, it's powerful, it's memorable. I like that. That's something I can use, okay? So it's not that it's beauty and I want to like, you know, you know, sing it or, you know, no, that's, that's not silly. I want it to be very punchy, okay, very, you know, effective. So this is also a quality that I look for. Here's another one. I heard this uh, a couple of years ago. It says, stop stewing and start doing, okay? And that, it's kind of cute, but it had some, you know, so much meaning. I, I'm sure I could share that with somebody. You know, we, let's start stewing and let's start doing, okay? All right, so just, just a quick thing that, all right. Now, how do I collect the ideas, all right? Now we're getting into the practical part. I collect them with my phone, uh, all right? I either email it to myself, and different times with different phones, I do different things, okay? You're at, uh, okay, all right, you write it there, okay? Excellent, excellent. Uh, definitely writing it is, uh, you know, and I have that uh, here at the last. But uh, using the phone is one option. Uh, emailing it, writing it in the notes section, and recording it, uh, you know, I, have, I can let you hear. I have, like, so many recordings that, all right. So that's number one. Number two, using the computer. Uh, you know, if, if you're a computer, you like computers, you could do that. Uh, and then, you know, I type it. And then uh, and, and writing it in books, booklets. Now, you have a booklet with you. You know, you may want to write things in there. Now, a lot of people will write things on papers. And, I mean, do you guys use any other methods to collect things? I mean, anybody else? I think we probably covered them. But, but this is how we want to, we, we want to have a method. I'm sharing with you my method. I'm not saying that's the right method, but I'm saying we've got to collect them, okay? We gotta, if you really want to go somewhere, if you really want to use it later to grow or use it to grow others, you have to keep it, okay? All right. So uh, collecting it is, is that point. All right, let's go to principle four. And <clears throat> principle four is, now, uh, Danny, do you think I could use the computer? Okay. If you could just put my uh, filing document up there when you can. All right. So in the principle four, if you don't file the new principles, you cannot find the new principles. Now, the filing this system, I did not come up with this, guys. This is something I learned from John Maxwell. He has thousands of files in his, uh, in his office. I've never seen it, okay? Somebody gave him the advice. He had a very influential father. And somebody gave him advice, uh, either his father or somebody else, at age 19, he started filing. Everything he learned, every principle that resonated, he would read something, he'd put it in a category. And you, you remember when I read you those categories in the beginning? I have about 400 myself. Uh, he has thousands. He's been doing it. He's now in his 60s. When he gets up and speaks, I mean, the, I mean he knows so much, okay? Just because he has collected them when he wants to speak on a topic, he just goes and reads what has read it, resonated with me 20 years ago, 10 years ago. It's all there, okay? So he, and he's a writer, you know? So if you really want to be, you know, uh, you know, Stephen, and I haven't introduced you to Stephen. He's one of our members at Spire Team. He's a, uh, a, a student pastor. Uh, you know, let's say Stephen. He says, okay, you know, what am I collecting? It could be something from the Bible or it could be an illustration. You put it in those files, okay, and then you, you have access to it. Okay, guys? So that's the filing system. When I first heard about it, it was kind of strange, like filing, you know, you know that's, that's weird. Uh, so, and by the way, yes, I'm melancholy. I love filing organization, you know, that, yes, granted, but, uh, but here's the thing, uh, John Maxwell is not, he's a sanguine, he's a sanguine cleric, he's all about action, but he learned early in life that he doesn't want to take his traits as an excuse, you know, if we're not, organ I don't care if you're cleric or sanguine, if you're not organized, you're not getting anywhere, you know, if you're a melancholy like me, you know, if I don't, naturally, I don't like to be around people, I like to be alone. So if I don't get out of that and, and learn and, and move forward, I, you know, I can't move forward. So let's not use those as excuses, but I just want to share that with you. And it's just a disclaimer that I do enjoy the filing, though. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, great. This is my filing document. And what we're going to do for you, just because we love you, we, uh, we're going to give you each one. We're going to get one of these. And, again, this is not to force this on you or just to share with you what I do. Uh, if uh, we're, each one is going to have three computer files on it, okay? 
if you look at this challenge here that I gave you, I'm, I'm going to challenge you to do three hours a week. One, to expose yourself to uh, new ideas. Okay, we already talked about that. The number two hour is going to be to take those ideas you collect. Like, for example, today, you know, hopefully you have some new ideas. What are you going to do with them, you know? Uh, you know, uh, for example, the papers that we have, let's say, you know, and you probably have a system. Okay, what do you do with it? You know, we've got to set some time. Now we're talking about growth, okay? So you said, mm, yeah, that resonated with me. When you go home, you're going to have to have an hour that I'm asking you to, to adopt to file these in a filing document, okay? And there's a copy in there for you. It just takes, it's going to take an example of what I've done, all right? And then the third hour is going to be application, which I'll talk to you about that. So the three files, the three files are, if you look here to the, to the left, all right, the top one is called the filing document. If you read there, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read what I wrote here for you. All categorized ideas and principles you collected, all right? I call mine principles of life. Now, you can call it whatever you want, okay? But this is my principle. I love this. This is a treasure for me. I've collected my thoughts, my, you know, a lot of things are personal, but I'm going to show you just, so for example, I learned something today, let's say, about advising others, okay? I wrote it here. That's not enough. This is going to go nowhere, okay? I go home, before I sleep every night, I do two half hours, half hour of filing and half hour of application, which is growth, okay? All right? I do my reading in the morning, okay? So... During my filing time, which I'm asking you to do one hour a week, you're going to take whatever you learned. Let's say you learned something on adversity, as you see here, okay? I'm going to take it from where I wrote it and scribbled it, and I'm going to put it under adversity. Let's say here, and I, honestly, this, I just looked at this here. Adversity and loss makes a man wise. Okay, fine. I read this somewhere. It's a Welsh proverb. It just resonated with me. Maybe I'll use it one day. Maybe I won't. You know, it seems kind of punchy. This is from Pastor Peter. Well, when you boil it down in the university of adversity, that sounds good. This is something I can write in a blog, okay? University of adversity. No, that's catchy. As soon as I heard it, it's like, ooh, write it down, okay? But it's got to get here. So today, what I, yesterday, the last few days, I was preparing for this. We're talking about growth. I went to my growth section, and uh, let me see. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna show. But basically, there's a growth section, and I just read the whole thing, and I said, you know, what have I learned about growth? What do I know about growth? What can I share with these people about growth? Okay. So this is how I do the filing. Okay, guys. All right. So and then you're gonna have this actually this same document. If you want to use the same formatting, you can. Uh, you know, but a lot of times, if it's a big paragraph. I will use a, a summary. That way, if I'm going over it, I, I don't have to read the whole thing. If it's a short thing, I don't put a summary up here. Okay? All right. So that's the filing document. And uh, so principle four, uh, why do I file the uh, new principles I find under specific topics? So I can easily find, uh, so I can easily find them uh, to help me. Okay? In my growth journey, so the word there in under A, in my growth journey, in urgent times. Let me share with you something. Uh, two years ago, uh, it was, we, had to, we, we had opened a, a wellness center at the clinic. Uh, I love that center. Uh, and, and it was weight loss and stuff like that, but it didn't work out. We had to shut it down. My brother calls me. He says, we've got to shut it down. You have to tell the staff. Now, we had been in a growth pattern. I mean, everybody was pumped. We had these meetings every month, and all of a sudden, we had to shut it down today, okay? I had 15 managers. How do you break this news? You know, this is something we've all been talking about, whatever. I went to my section under crisis management, and I actually, I, I, I sat by myself for like an hour, and I read all the principles, you know, how do you handle crisis, you know? And this helped me so much, you know? You know, and, and I can't recall everything, you know, but you have to be clear. You have to tell them that you understand, whatever. I couldn't think of it right off, you know what I mean? So I just want, so I do it to help me on my growth journey. Number B, in urgent times, I refer to it. C, in sharing with others, sharing with others. D, in teaching classes. Uh, e, in writing, and I mentioned that. Okay? So, ways to file. Ways to file. You can either do paper file like John Maxwell does. If you don't want to mess with this, you could do paper files, just file them. Okay? And, uh, and, or computer file. All right? So, ways to file, paper files, or computer files. Thoughts on computer filing. All right? Make it friendly to search. My document is 500 pages. 
okay? For me, if I want to find the section on aging, it's, it, if I put the word aging, there's probably 100 entries on aging. I can't find it. So it's just a trick. I put a little bit of a, a dash right here. You see it? You, I don't know if you guys can see that. This is the heading. It's dash aging. This is the title. So if I search dash aging, it will take me to the beginning of it. I put the new stuff on aging from the top, always from the top. So that's the newest stuff from the top. So this is just a quick thing. Make it, now you can, again, you can find some other system, but you have to make it friendly to search, okay? Place it on one file. I mean, I find that if, I, I've seen people that file, they have 20 different files, and they, they're not very, you know, you can't search, because let's say if I'm writing, let's say I'm preparing for this lecture, you know, I want to see something about growth, and then I want to see something on, let's say, leadership. I want to skip to it. I just put Control F for find, and I put dash leadership. It takes me there immediately. That's just, just been my, my small hint there, okay? And then number three, Put the sources you can use that's huge. As you start writing and, and getting a little bit more into this, uh, if you don't put the sources, you really plagiar uh, what's the word? Plagiarism. plagiarism. And, uh, and then you're not being ethical about it, okay? A lot of times you get excited and you write something down, you don't write the source. Not, not, good, not good for business, okay? Uh, and last one, write the new principle you learned and add your own thoughts to it. A lot of these have my own personal, a lot of people ask me, hey, would you share this with us? And I said, no, it has a lot of my personal thoughts on, on, on these, okay? All right, principle five. Uh, how much time do I have, Angela? Okay, principle five. All right, guys, now this is huge. There's something called the doing, the knowing doing gap. There's a book wrote on that. The, Knowing, doing gap. How many things in life we know we just don't do? Okay, a lot, a lot. And when you be when you, when you're like me, uh, you know I love to collect. I'm a melancholy. I can really easily fall into that trap. So application is just is just very very important. Very important. We've got to apply it. Okay. So I'm going to take you through my thoughts of application because if if this ends with being exposed and collecting and filing it, then that's it. That was a, just a Academic exercise useless, okay, in my opinion. We, we've, got, we, we've got to apply it in our life and then give it to others as well. All right, so principle five. If you don't apply the new principle, then your efforts are useless, okay? All right. Growth equals change. So we're talking about growth. You know, in the beginning I said growth, 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 growth. What does that really mean, change? Change, okay? If we're not changing, we're not growing, all right? So <clears throat> let's go to principle one here. Don't just look for principle you have not heard, but principles you have not applied. Anything that I'm saying today, you say, you know what? I, I, you know, I'm not applying this, you know? I may not know it, I don't apply it enough. Write it down, okay? All right, number two, if there's no change in your thinking, feeling, or action, you have not grown. I mean, we're looking for change. Again, we're driving the point, all right? Number three, don't fall in the biggest gap in the world, the knowing, doing gap, the knowing, doing gap. So many people know so much, they don't apply so many teams, so many organizations. We've got to apply it, all right? Kevin Hall, who wrote a book actually called Aspire, an awesome book. It's called To Learn and Not Do is Not to Learn, all right? So how do we apply new principles, all right? Number one, form a new habit of thinking, feeling, or behavior okay, by breaking it down in measurable and, cl and clearly definable steps. All right. Um, here's the deal. Actually, let me finish this and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what I mean by this. Number B is reviewing it daily. So B, reviewing it daily. Make sure it is written. Number C, moving to the next one when it becomes automatic, minimal thinking. I don't know if you guys read books on habits. What a habit is, is something you do with minimal thinking. Now, it could be a bad habit, and, you know, it could be a good habit, okay? Growth, we want to develop new habits, which is things we want to do with less thinking. I'll give you an example. I'm, I'm, I, on my application thing, uh, currently, I'm working on three things. I notice in the morning when I wake up, I don't want to get up out of bed. And the first 15 minutes, I'm like, I know I need to get up. And I'm just sitting there, and I, you know, always kind of, I just can't get up. You know what I mean? I don't know if you guys can identify with that. 
<laughs> so 15 minutes, 15 minutes times seven, it's hour and a half. I don't have hour and a half. I could write a blog in an hour and a half, okay? So what I said I'm going to do, I could try harder, whatever, but the key is I have to have a measurable step, okay? So I said what I'm going to do, I'm gonna, as soon as I get up, I'm going to immediately walk and get to the shower, okay? So I have it, this is what I'm working on now. It's written in my half an hour of growth. I'm working on it today, and I could say, did I do it or did I not? Now, so I didn't do it this morning, but, uh, <laughs> but, but, but so when I, when I, in my growth time, I say, did I do it and did I not? If not, why not? So I dig it a little bit, and then next day I try again, okay? So, but basically, you know, uh, so that's number one. Uh, number two is uh, uh, basically uh, I'm, I'm working on myself. Also time management is when I, when I, I don't want to touch things twice. So if I want to put this, I need to put it in one place. Uh, if, if it's here, I don't need to put it here and then move it to here because that's just wasted energy. Anyway, I'm just working on a couple of things, okay? So I know they're very melancholy, but they're extremely measurable, okay? All right, they're extremely measurable. And if it's not measurable, you probably just you won't do them, okay? So, um, all right, I know. You guys are never going to talk to me again. Uh, <laughs> all right, okay. And then, oh, the third thing I'm working on is spending my time in the evening and in the morning. That's very important to me, okay? I spend my uh, exercise, my, uh, you know, I, I write one hour in the morning and whatnot. Okay, so, uh, right, let's take a quick look here. Uh, so we, uh, did we do number two? All right, number two is get feedback from others on whether you see change in you. A lot of times we think we're seeing change, but we're not. Uh, really moving. We have to ask people. Number three, let others hold you accountable what you cannot make yourself apply the principle. Okay, accountable is the word there. Uh, and basically, uh, I've wanted to, to write for a long time, uh, for maybe three years. And, these and I just want to write a book, you know, just, you know, or write an art, or, you know, I want to write, okay. And I'm so busy and I can't. In the last three weeks, and, and uh, I've shared it with a couple of you, I was sharing it with Jen the other day. Uh, I have a coach now, and she holds me accountable. Every day I have to email her. I, I wrote today from this time to one time, one hour, okay? Actually, I didn't write today, so I emailed her earlier. I said, I'm not going to write this today, but I'm going to write two hours tomorrow, okay? I, I invited her to hold me accountable, okay? So asking people to hold you accountable in the most difficult things that you can't do is extremely powerful, okay? Extremely powerful. All right, guys. Wonderful. And uh, principle six, uh, principle six is, let's take a look. If you don't teach the new principles, then you won't know them well. If you don't teach them, you won't know them well, okay? If you learn a lot and you don't give, we become stagnant. We become stagnant, all right? I can't tell you how invigorating me doing this and with the team here today for, for my own growth. Okay? Now, I love it that you guys, hopefully, you're getting something. But for my own growth, I mean, I had to stay up till four last night practicing. You know, how am I going to, you know what I mean? I mean, it pushed me. I'm not stagnant. Okay? All right. Number two, our knowledge becomes less relevant. It becomes so theoretical. It becomes just, you know, what's good for me and things like that. Number three, we lose focus that the purpose of learning is giving. I mean, if you're learning for whatever odd reason, then, you know, we're learning and we're growing so we can give to others. That's our, our deal. So the practical step on this one, say, start thinking how to share what you are learning, A, at home, at home with your spouse, children, or, uh, or friends, okay? B, <clears throat> at work, teaching a class, sharing with your team. You go to your boss, say, hey, I want to teach a small class on whatever, you know? They would love you. I mean, I think, you know, uh, if, if somebody comes to, one of my employees says, hey, I want to share with two, three friends about what I'm learning, oh, eat that up, wouldn't you, Tamar? Yes. You know, so, uh, so there's opportunity, okay? Just, just look for them, all right? Uh, B and C, internet, start a blog, social media, and email. So, guys, to sum it up, what I'm asking you to do, a lot of times we go to seminars, I go to seminars, and I feel I'm, I'm like exhausted, mentally exhausted, emotionally exhausted, physically exhausted, and I'm like, what did I usually, what did I take? So I want to do something different today. Um, you may want to do it or not, but this is what I'm asking you to do. So this right here is what I want you to take with you. One hour a week, it has to be measurable, and if you don't think you can measure it, Ask somebody to hold you accountable. Ask somebody that loves you. Okay, say, 
I want to do this, you make sure I do it. I'm going to send you an email or whatever. But they have to do it. Now, if they forget about it, they're not good accountable partner. Okay? So at least one hour of exposure. Now, you can alter that. I think we can afford three hours. Another hour of filing. So you, you already have the file in there. Okay? Now, a lot of times I take notes and I dump them in this. The middle one here is unfiled thoughts. Okay, like for example, uh, I may be listening to a show on TV and I really just want to type. I'll just put them in this unfiled thoughts. They're just kind of ideas, ideas, ideas. Or I see an article or somebody forged me a blog. I just put it in this unfiled thoughts. And during my filing time, that's why I have put the arrow. We go from the unfiled thoughts to the filed thoughts. Am I confusing you guys? Okay. And then the, the third hour is the application. Is the third hour is the application. So application the, during that time, and I also have a third file, a third computer file in there, and it kind of shows you some things that you can go through in that, what, for example, what is my mission? What is my vision? My personal purpose, and I wrote this four years ago, is to grow so I can positively influence others. I wrote this down, you know. Uh, I, I learned it from, I learned how to create a purpose I review this to do my growth time. Did I do that today? Tonight when I go home, there are some questions I ask myself and I write. Did you, th did you put seeds in others today? Because that's along my purpose. And I'm going to say, yes, I did this. Or yesterday, like I said, if I know, no, I didn't. This is how it so during your growth time, you examine where you are in life, what are your values, and you build this up. But the most important thing is, what am I growing in? What am I growing in? Because if we're not changing, we're not moving. So during my growth time, the most important thing is what am I working in today? Is it practical? Is it, is it measurable? Okay? All right, guys?